Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to unlock a crucial concept in the Indian patent law, compulsory licensing. This powerful tool was adopted by India as a part of the WTO's 1994 Agreement on Intellectual Property, that is the TRIPS Agreement. Article 31 of the TRIPS Agreement talks about compulsory licensing or basically how to use a patent without the authorization of the patent holder in order to balance out the access to essential medicines with profiteering by pharmaceutical giants and how to settle the terms and conditions of a compulsory license. A compulsory license is basically given by central government to either itself or someone else to produce a patented product or process without the consent of the patent owner. It is given under special circumstances which are outlined in section 84 91, 92 and 92A of the Indian Patents Act. Over the years, many countries like Brazil, Ecuador, India, Indonesia, Malaysia, Rwanda, Zimbabwe and Thailand have issued compulsory licenses in certain cases. If you analyze the previous year papers of patent agent exam, you will see that a lot of questions have been asked on compulsory licenses over the years and a glimpse of those are here on the screen. So without further delay, let's dive into how this concept works in India and have a look at a real life scenario where compulsory licensing can be applied. Now imagine this, a new form of cancer is affecting a large part of the Indian population. A pharmaceutical company XYZ got a patent IN620504 granted on a drug in October 2020. This drug could treat this cancer, but they are not manufacturing it in quantities that meets the demand of the patient population. To make the matters worse, the price is so high that most people can't afford it. They have priced it at 2,80,428 per month. After three years from the date of the patent grant, let's say now in October 2023, another company, ABC Pharmaceuticals, steps up. In accordance with Section 84 of the Indian Patents Act, they file an application for a compulsory license to manufacture the drug at an affordable price for the Indian population. As per Section 84 of the Indian Patents Act, an application for compulsory license can be filed based on the following three grounds. One, that the reasonable requirements of the public with respect to the patented invention have not been satisfied or 2. That the patented invention is not available to the public at a reasonably affordable price or 3. That the patented invention is not worked in the territory of India. When ABC Pharmaceuticals applies for this license as per section 846, the controller of patents assesses a few essential factors such as the nature of the invention, the time that has elapsed since the grant of the patent and the measures already taken by the patentee or any licensee to make full use of the invention, ABC Pharmaceuticals ability to work the invention to the public advantage and whether ABC Pharmaceuticals tried to negotiate a voluntary license with XYZ on reasonable commercial terms within the past six months. In accordance with Section 86 of the Indian Patents Act, since a prima facie case could not be made out and XYZ warrants more time to work the invention, initially the controller rejects the request of ABC Pharmaceuticals, but ABC does not give up and requests a hearing to make its case. After the hearing, the controller grants the compulsory license, setting terms for royalties, that is, ABC Pharmaceuticals needs to give 6% royalty from the sales to XYZ so as to allow XYZ to derive reasonable advantage from its patent. The compulsory license also sets out the other requirements to make the drug affordable for the public as outlined in Section 90. This license agreement acts as a binding deed between XYZ and ABC as mentioned in Section 93 of the Indian Patents Act. 
copies of the compulsory license application are served to xyz xyz does not oppose this now abc starts manufacturing the drug and the demand is being met at an affordable price but by september 2026 abc struggles to obtain the raw materials and can't keep up with the demand since the purpose for granting compulsory license as outlined in section 89 is not being met the central government steps in and requests the controller to revoke the compulsory license as per section 85 of the act ensuring that if the license can't meet public needs the license won't stand other terms and conditions for termination of compulsory license can be found in section 94 compulsory license can be a life saving mechanism for public health but did you know that there are certain special conditions under which compulsory licenses can be issued Let's break them down. Till date only one compulsory license has been issued in India under the Natco Pharma versus Bayer case. To understand the details of this case, I will leave a link to the document in the description below. So compulsory license under the Indian Patents Act is a balanced approach. It not only protects the patent holder's rights but also ensures that essential innovations especially life saving medications reach them who need the most by including provisions like those mentioned in sections 91 92 92a india can swiftly act during national emergencies urgencies and when the public health is at risk if you want to know more about the rejected cases of compulsory licenses in india then write to us at wsli sppt2023 at gmail.com and we will share the details of such cases with you thanks for watching this video if you found this breakdown helpful do not forget to like share and subscribe to our channel i will see you in the next video